On the 30th of November 2023, a winter spectacle unfolded in the northeastern reaches of Shandong Province, where Yantai and Weihai, two coastal cities, embraced their newfound title as the Snow Nest of China. The Yantai Meteorological Observatory, under the canvas of a frost-kissed morning, issued a blue snow warning, heralding the ongoing dance between winter and the city. Over the past 24 hours, from the 30th of November to the current date, pockets of Yantai witnessed a transformative snowfall, ranging from 5 to 10 centimeters in the development zone, Lishi, Gaoxin, and Yubin. Some areas experienced an even more generous gift from the heavens, with snowfall exceeding 20 centimeters. Fushin and Zifu, though graced with a more delicate dusting, bore witness to a maximum snow depth of 30 centimeters. As the snow continued to weave its magic, the cityscape transformed into a scene reminiscent of a winter fairy tale. Streets, once bustling with the energy of daily life, now lay beneath a hush of snow lot and tranquility. Many cars, mere outlines beneath the thick layers of snow, stood as silent witnesses to nature's whims. The city's heartbeat, momentarily muffled, echoed in the rhythmic crunch of footsteps on snow-covered pavements. The transformation extended beyond the roads. Trees, their branches delicately adorned with glistening snowflakes, stood frozen in time, creating an otherworldly tableau. The city's skyline, usually defined by modern structures, now boasted a unique silhouette outlined by the crisp, white powder that clung to every surface. It was a canvas where vanity and nature converged, painted by the delicate brushstrokes of winter. However, the enchanting beauty carried its practical challenges. As snow continued to fall, many cars found themselves buried under layers of snow, creating an almost surreal landscape where vehicles became mere contours in a sea of white. The once clear streets became icy thoroughfares, challenging even the most seasoned drivers and pedestrians alike.
Despite the picturesque scene, the anti-meteorological observatory's warnings about disruptions in transportation, electricity, and agricultural facilities became increasingly evident. As residents ventured out, they navigated not only the enchanting winter wonderland, but also the icy patches that made each step a delicate dance. The city's response to the practical challenges was visible in the suspension of 41 bus routes, acknowledging the need for caution on the snow-covered roads. The delicate balance between the charm of winter and the practicality of daily life became a tightrope walk as the city adapted to the whims of the season. Yet, amidst the challenges, the allure of Yantai and Weihai's unique winter charm persisted. Traditionally overshadowed by the snow-covered landscapes of the three northeastern provinces, these coastal cities had carved their own niche in the winter cityscape. The winter symphony continued its refrain, and the city underwent a metamorphosis into a living snow globe. Every corner held a story spun by the delicate dance of snowflakes, capturing the imaginations of residents and visitors alike. The frozen trees, the buried cars, and the icy streets became not just challenges but integral elements in the narrative of Yantai's winter tale. Through this journey from the 30th of November to the present date, Yantai stood resilient, embracing both the whimsical beauty and the practical challenges of winter. The coastal city, now crowned the snow nest of China, carried within its streets and alleys the echoes of a winter tale, a story woven by the interplay of sea breezes and snowflakes. As the snowfall continued to weave its magic, the canvas of Yantai and Weihai remained open, inviting residents and visitors alike to revel in the ongoing enchantment of winter's embrace.